viewers and welcome to Obsidian Soft. This is class number 10 of my mental math video series. Today I will teach you how to subtract three digit numbers. So let's begin. There are two ways or methods to solve three digit number subtraction in your brain and I will be teaching you both the methods and you can decide whichever you find easier. So I will be teaching you method one first. We have a question 439 minus 215. In the first method, we will split the question into its hundreds, tens and ones and then subtract them separately and then add the result together. So 439 has 400 and 215 has 200. So this is the first part of our question. 439 has three tens that is 30 and 215 has only one ten that is a 10. 439 has nine ones and 215 has five ones. And now because we have converted our question into three easier subtraction questions. So we are just going to do them separately and add the result together. So 400 minus 200 is equal to 200. 30 minus 10 is 20. And 9 minus 5 is 4. And so our final answer by adding these answers is 224. Okay. And let's do one more question. 548 minus 124. Okay. Split the hundreds. 500, 100, 500 minus 100 is equal to 400. Split the tens. 40 minus 20 is equal to 20. And split the ones. 8 minus 4 is equal to 4 and our final answer is 424. Okay, let's do another question and I will show you a slight problem that happens when we are doing subtraction and it will show you why the second method might be more effective. 346 minus 238. Okay, so let's split the question into its hundreds, tens and ones. So 346 has 300s, 238 has 200s, so 100, again 40 and 30 from here, so that gives you a 10 and a 6 and an 8 from here. So do you see the problem here? We cannot subtract an 8 from a 6 and we need this precious 10 and we need to give it to this 6. So that it becomes a 16 and 16 minus 8 becomes 8. But what will happen to this 10? It will be turned into a 0. There is no 10 here anymore. And now we add these three results to get 108. So this is the thing that you have to take care of while subtracting in your brain that if a number cannot be subtracted from another number because that number is smaller, you have to borrow. So now I will be teaching method number two and I will be doing this same question that is 346 minus 238 using the second method. 346 minus 238. So this was the question that we did previously and we had to take care of subtracting an 8 from 6 by borrowing a 10 from the answer of 40 minus 30. Okay, and now we are going to use the second method and then second method is that you look at the number that you're subtracting that is 238 and you round it up to the nearest multiple of 100. Make sure to round it up. So what do I need to add to 238 to make it a multiple of 100? We need to add 62 to it. Okay, plus 62 and this turns into 300. Okay. And this stays the same. So 346 minus 300 is 46. So this is easier subtraction. And now this is not our final answer because we have to add this 62 to 46 to get our final answer. And that is 108. And this is 
our answer that we got using the second method. Okay. So let's use method two again to solve a three digit subtraction question. So the question is 563 minus 245. Okay. So what do we add to the number that we are subtracting that is 245 to make it a multiple of 100? We need to add 55 to it. Now you have to remember this 55, okay? Don't forget about it. So now this becomes 300, 563 stays the same. And we do this easier subtraction to get 263. Now, this is not our final answer. Don't forget about this 55. So we give it back the 55 to get 318. And this is our final answer. Okay, right now I'm writing it down, but you have to do all of this in your brain. Okay, so let's do one last question and I will not be doing that much writing in it, but I will be explaining to you how I'm calculating it in my brain. 982 minus 624. Okay, now I need to round up 624 to make it a 700. And what do I add? to it to make it a 700, I add 76 to it. So I have to remember this 76 in my brain and I need to subtract 982 minus this 700 to get 282. Okay, I'm not doing a lot of writing now. I'm just telling you what's happening in my brain. Basically what I've done is 982 minus 700. I'm just writing it down for clarity, but this is what is happening in my brain that there's now 282 in my brain and I have to add the 76 to it. And you can see that I'm using addition here, three digit addition here, using my mental matrix taught in my previous classes. And you have to be good at that to get good at this, okay? This is very important, okay? Your bases, your foundations have to be strong, okay? So if you haven't seen my previous classes, please do so, so that you know what I'm talking about here. So 282 plus 76 in my brain is, I'm going to write it down, but I have already done the calculation in my brain and it is 358. No editing happening here. I didn't edit the video, I just did the calculation in my brain and I wrote it down and I'm using my tricks that I've taught in my previous classes, okay? And it just needs some practice. Anyone can excel at mental maths if they just do practice. Practice is the key and you can use my mental math app for doing your practice. It is free and available on Google Play Store. So I hope you like this class and do share my videos with your friends and family and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. I also have free classes for coding and Android app development so you can check that out too and do practice your mental maths. Practice is the key. I cannot stress that enough. Thank you for watching my class. Have a good day and goodbye.